All right, Algebra 1, moving on. Chapter 6, Section 2, Solving Systems Using Substitution. Uh, last time we talked about solving by graphing, where you graphed both uh, equations, put them in the y equals mx plus b form, graph them, find out if they intersect. That intersection is the solution. Well, a second way to find the same solution is to do it algebraically by substitution. Okay? Remember what I told you, there's three different ways. Uh, sometimes it's easier to graph it got a graphing calculator or they're both in the y equals. Sometimes it's easier to do substitution and then there'll be other times it's easier to do elim elimination. You'll see that the next time we do this. Our question is how to use substitution to solve. It's best used when at least one of the equations is in the x equal or y equals form like this. Um, here we go y equals 3x or x plus y equals negative 32. One of the equations is in the y equal. So we'll substitute, and I'll show you how we do that when we get to it. How do we go about doing it? You take that y equal or x equal equation, and you substitute it into the second equation for that x or y letter, for that variable that it's equal to. Then solve for that variable, and then plug that value into the first equation and solve for the other variable. Okay, one, two, three. So you look here, y equals 3x x plus y equals negative 32. Since y is 3x, I'm going to substitute. You think of substituting the game, you take somebody out and you hopefully put somebody in of equal value. Same thing here. I take the 3x and I put it in for y. I substitute it for the y because they're equal. So what I have now is this. There's my y right there, the 3x. So instead of x plus y, it's now x plus 3x equals negative 32. One equation one unknown. We've been solving that for a long time. Okay, so let's do it. That's 4x. Divide the 4 out. x is negative 8. It's easiest to take that since you got y equals already. Plug that negative 8 in for the x and figure out your y. Negative 24. I write my answer as an ordered pair because if I graphed those two equations, that's where they would intersect. Okay, substitution. 1, 2, 3. Make sure you get that down. All right, we talked about different solutions when we were graphing. Sometimes the lines intersect, sometimes they're parallel, sometimes they graph right on top of each other. Well, what does that look like algebraically? Okay, you get a problem like this. Here's your y equals. So I'm going to take my 3x minus 4 and substitute it into the y. So now I get negative 2x plus 5 times y. There's my y equals 19. I do the distributive property, 15x minus 20. Combine like terms, you get 13x. Add the 20 over, you get 39. Divide out the 13, x is 3. I plug the x back into my equation here. 3 times 3 minus 4 is 5. 3, 5, one solution. If I graph those two, boom, they're going to intersect. Okay? Second example. x equals negative 2y plus 4. 2x plus 4y equals 8. I substitute into the x right here. I did it right here. So negative 2y plus 4. That was my x. I saw I distribute. I get negative 4y plus 8 plus that 4y equals 8. My 4y's cancel out and I'm left with 8, 8 equals 8. 8 equals 8 all the time. It's always true. That's a true statement. So that means I get infinite solutions. That's going to be a line graphed on top of a line. Okay, So it ends up looking like 1. Uh, 3, uh, y equals 3x minus 11, y minus 3x equals negative 13. I substitute the 3x minus 1 in for the y here, minus my 3x equals negative 13. The 3x's cancel out. Negative 11 does not equal negative 13, that's a false statement, okay? So, no solution. That's just two parallel lines. They're never going to intersect, okay? So, that's what that looks like algebraically. That's the substitution method. It works best when one of the equations, or both, here are in y equal or x equal, okay? So that you can substitute it into the other equation, solve for that variable, plug it back into the first one, and solve for the other letter, okay? We write the answer as an ordered pair, because that's where they would intersect if we graphed them. All right, we'll look at some more examples of this tomorrow. See you then. Have a good one. Bye.